this is the largest territory on earth which does not really have a functioning government that in a meaningful way governs more than a very small portion of the country. And when you have something like that, especially in a country that is so rich in minerals that people want, gold, diamonds, coal tan, tin, timber, all kinds of other things, it's just an invitation to people to plunder. The other day, I was in Goma with two friends from Human Rights Watch. We were walking along, and a guy seeing three foreigners walked up to us and said, do you want to buy some uranium? Uranium? Uranium, precisely. And uh, he explained what it was. He said, we've got uh, these units of two kilos of uranium. Uh, what would that be, about five pounds or something like that? Uh, and they're in a 17 kilo container, so it's very compact, easy to transport. We asked what the price was, and he said $1.5 million. But it's negotiable. Offering to sell uranium. You have this country so rich in resources yeah. and so poor in rule of law. Yeah. And when you don't have that rule of law, when you don't have a government that functions and makes sure that people get a share of this wealth, which is one of the jobs that a government anywhere in the world ought to do, either through partial ownership of things like mines or through taxation that's really fair and just. If you don't have that, then ordinary people don't get any money at all.